We're now going to look at page six, which is this one here. So I'm going to turn my page over, ready to start. OK, so page six is the one where we've got the cut apart, cut apart photo mat, to hold the flap in place. You've got big pocket here, lots of photo mats you can add in there, memorabilia, nice deep pocket for that. No magnets at all. And you've even got a little spot here for journaling as well. So let me show you where we're going to start with this one. So the first thing we're going to do is we need to tear a page out of our book. So this is the actual page I'm going to be working on. So I'm not tearing that one out. So I'm going to tear a page from my book carefully. OK, take this piece out of the way. Flip that back so I know exactly the side I'm working on. So for page six, I need to then trim this down to ten and three quarter inches. Move that across there so you can see what I'm doing. So ten and three quarter inches. Okay. And then I'm going to cut a piece that measures seven inches. And then this should leave this piece that's measuring four and three quarters. See, I've thought it all out for you perfectly. So this is going to be our bottom pocket and this is our top pocket. So, for the top pocket, you're going to need to then bring your scoreboard in. So, this is the pocket. So, on the short side, so your short side and the top of your scoreboard, you are going to score in three quarters of an inch. So, I've done a bit bigger um, tab this time. So, three quarters of an inch all the way down. Just careful not to score too hard but score enough. Okay so that's the scoreboard and then we're just going to burnish that over. There's my bone folder gone. It's disappeared. I found it. Okay, so that's that done. And now I'm going to corner round uh, two of the corners. That's one and two. Okay, so that is the flat. And they're corner rounded. And then I'm going to corner round uh, two of the bottom, but not the top. So I'm going to put a corner round on there. And a corner round on there. And then we can stick these directly onto our page so they can be drying a little bit before we add our glue. And I know it's a bit hard to see black on black, but what my aim is, it's going to butt right up to it. But you're going to have a black border all the way around. So I'm going to start off with the bottom piece. So I'm going in with the tacky glue. Could use double sided tape if you wish. Red liner I would recommend as it's a pocket. I'm just going to do a thin bead all the way around. Okay, and that's as easy as that is. So I'm just going to turn this to the side so I can see how much I've got space at the top. I'm just going to bring that in. So it's where I want it to be, which is about there. Wipe that off. See how it seeps out. If you wipe it while it's wet, you don't have a problem. So that's just going to give that little bit of time to dry while we cut our papers and ink them. 
probably could have done with my little thin nozzle one for that one but that's okay so that's going to just take a little bit of time to dry now you can use red line tape or wet glue to now stick this onto here so what you're going to do is you're going to butt it up but you're not having it over and you're not having it under it's going to literally match straight up to it so you've got corner rounders on this one and not on this one so you're going to just match that up beautifully so I think oh should we go in with some red line tape let's go in with some red line tape this is three quarters of an inch and my red liner isn't so I'm going to need to put two rows so I'm going to use red liner because I want to show a lot of you the different ways of using your tape and your glues because I'm, I'm aware that we have newbie crafters as well as seasonal crafters out there scissors trim that in that's the only thing you do with the tape you can't tear it like normal double-sided tape you do have to get the scissors out so that on there and trim that again okay and then the trick like I did before with the your bone folder is just make sure the glue is pushed into the fibers of the card okay that's going to come down and then I think I'm going to go, yeah, I'll go this side. And then pick which end you feel comfortable tearing your angel wings off. So this is what I call angel wings. It's where you've got a piece hanging down, but you've not released all the tape. So it gives you that little bit of wiggle room. In fact, I'm going to bring that up here and that up here. Okay, so we're butting up close lining up these two lines sorry lining up these two lines here sorry if you saw my head there right so we're butting that up now this side here hasn't got the glue taken off so I can hold that firm with my hands let my angel wings hang out now I can push this down okay so that's got the tape on it this haven't released yet and then I'm gradually going to pull my angel wings, as I call them. I know other crafters call them different things. I always call them angel wings. And then I'm just going to gradually pull those away. And that is stuck down. And then if you just open that up. Just disperse that so you know it's nicely stuck on. bit carried away with me trimming of my tape and I've trimmed a bit of my black card take that off right so so that is our flap with our pocket so now we can start cutting our papers to go on so let's start with the bottom bit of the pocket here um, what we got so I've got I've got a piece now do you remember this piece here we used earlier on so what I'm going to do is I'm going to turn it over and I'm going to use this piece for the back of the pocket so I'm needing the piece that's going to go on the outside of the pocket to measure four and a half and it should be ooh, that's not quite four and a half. Let me just check. Outside pocket, outside flat. That's saying four and a half. Let me check with my ruler because I wanted to use that piece to save me wasting any paper. Mm. Yes, it is going to need to be four and a half. So, I'll tell you what, there's not much in it. 
and I'm going to go four and a half and I'm going to have a little trim off there. Can you see that there? And then if I take this round, to take that piece off. Okay. Now, can you see, if I put it on the black there, can you see there I've got the little bit that comes down? I don't want that on there. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to trim that off. So I'm taking it just a little bit shy of the four and a half, purely because I want to use what paper I've got rather than use another page. Now, if you've got another page or you've got plenty of paper, you carry on and you can do it. So it's going to be actually the um, outside the pocket is four and a half by ten and a half so let me trim that down so I don't need that bit in there so now I can do my corner rounders okay so that's going to go on the top just there and actually that doesn't look too bad I think that's fine now I've got the top of my pocket and I've got a piece, oh, I've got this piece here, which was a bit of a half page. So the outside bit needs to be six inches, which that is six inches. So I just need to on this, oh, I need to trim it down. Six inches by ten and a half, nearly forgot. I'm only corner around in the bottom because this is going on the top of the pocket. That, that's it, that just goes on there nicely with that little bit of board around. And then on the inside, I've chosen this paper because it is quite bright and on the back it's quite plain you see so I've decided to go with this paper so again it needs to be ten and a half across so let's do that bit first um, and then we're going to trim that as six inches each and this is to go on the inside so that's one and that is two so we can start inking these up to go in so let's do our inside ones first so you see you've got six inches here so that's going to fit perfectly there now which way around do we have it because we could have now a nice contrasting colour going on here it was like that so I'm going to corner around of these two top ones okay and I think we're coming with a bit of the blue again with this one so go back to the bluey colour Oh, silly me, put my pad on might help, mightn't it? So, so all I've done is the two corners at the top. So you've got your six inch depth on both. So that's using one whole sheet of 12 by 12 and then ten and a half across. Okay, you can see the difference when you ink it. It does make... A big difference. Now I could have wasted card and put it behind the pocket but I didn't want to on this project. I've literally measured everything within an inch of its life so it works and it does. Okay I'm not going to do that bit blue that is going to be in the pink so I'm not going to put that bit on yet. So let's glue these down. So again, just round the edge. 
and then a squiggle in the middle and then you're batting this up to this pocket so by batting it up to the pocket you've got a little back trim there we go that's perfect if I slide this down and I glue this one on oh did I ink this yes I did Whew, thought I hadn't inked it and then I'm just lining that you can see what I'm doing I'm just lining that up so I've got that nice like eighth of an inch around the edge what I'm going to have to do is flap this over just to disperse the glue on that because it's not going to disperse otherwise I can't lay it flat on the counter that's lovely okay so that's the insides done so let's now do the top pocket so I'm going to ink this again in the blue edges are now inked and ready to be stuck down so let's pop these down now too take the end of my glue it's dried up a little bit so again a bead of glue around the edge and a squiggle in the middle and by pushing that in position because having the wet glow you've got your gap all the way around so just pressing that down and the same with the top see on the black there. I'm just going to turn this around so I've got this in position. That's it. I've got my nice edge on there. Okay. So that is now ready to be decorated up. So let me just move these bits to one side so you can see what I've done for the decoration. Out of the way. So, bring in the page with all the photographs on. So you can see I've got a cut apart just slotted down there. So there's no need for magnets at all. So you can choose the cut apart of your choice. And I've actually stuck a photo on the back. So the same thing will happen there. That's going to act as a stopper. So when the page is open, you see nothing's going to fall out of there so that's perfect and then obviously I've got your places for all your photographs let's bring those down at the top and bottom there you can make your photo mats out of plain tearing some more of the pages out there quite easily done so they'd go in there exactly the same all right so that's easily done and then you may wonder what how I've done this little thing here on the front there so let me show you how I did that really very simple to do so if I just bring a scoreboard in and one of the little cut aparts so let me pick a cut apart from my spares I've got here just to show you how it all comes together let's see if we can find the same one we don't it doesn't matter we'll use this one this one's pretty 
so we use that one okay so I'll show you how we do this so you can use paper trimmer I trim mine down for size but if you didn't want to trim it down for size you don't necessarily have to you can use some of your scrap paper so if I used some let's see what we've got left up here that's going to match because I'm going from what I've got left from my scraps not um, using anything new oh that's from the scraps of that yes yeah, so that would work okay so that matches in with that nicely or I could use the other side and make that a bit more muted okay so you can do this one of two ways you can either use your cut apart the size it is so if I measure that these are really quick to do little pockets that's three inches so if I then measure this as four inches okay get my score tool going with my let's just slide things along there got my score tool here and then if I'm going to score in there at half an inch on each side fold those in okay so that's going to make a little pocket for that quite easily and that's as easy as it would be to do a pocket and then what I would do is I would trim that down trim that down just take those mitre bits off there I would put some red liner or um, wet glue you could use as well so just going around the edges these are how quick and easy these little pockets are to do and they're great for adding your journaling just perfect for journaling on spots like this especially when you've got all the cutter parts that go with it and if you're going to use the graphic 45 papers they have a lot of these cutter parts and then I would just do a bit across the bottom there Oops. very sticky okay so that would all come off and be stuck on to your page so let me move things out way so that would be then stuck onto your page and then your cut apart card can pop inside there okay the other thing you can do and what I've done with this one is I actually cut the size down so if it's too big for what you want don't be afraid to trim it down to size to what you want to do and then by trimming down to size you can actually then use other cutter parts to make your pockets so there's several ways around doing it but they're great for little hidden journaling spots in your projects so that's how easy that is to do so now let's flip over because that is that page six now complete apart from just adding the photographs and the last few you know like the words and the titles and stuff little bits of embellishments so that's page six finished and now we're going to move on to page seven